Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Farts and Crep Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with um, part 22 of Mega Man Zero, the Game Boy Advance version here on Retro Classics. Hope you guys are all doing so well today, and... Um, yeah, on today's episode, we are gonna be ge be blah blah blah, gonna be beating this game cycle. Um, I've actually been at this for a little bit. Kind of worked out some of the strats. Um, I know I've done this before. I just didn't really. I kind of brute forced it last time, honestly. And, uh, yeah, so for the beginning, I'm going to go with a less, because there is no save. I mentioned at the end of the previous episode, um, I thought, I, I couldn't quite remember, because it's been a little while since I've, like, since I was last here in the series and since I recorded that episode, um, So I couldn't remember if there was a save after the boss rush, like before the final boss. There's not. Um, thankfully, I don't think rank matters. And for a lot of these guys, I found just like stay in the corner. Why is... There we go. Especially for that boss. Sometimes it doesn't work out that well. But I'm pretty sure if you stay in the corner that kind of like tricks his AI and to keep doing that move, which is a little bit more avoidable than some of his other moves. Um But yeah, sometimes it doesn't go well, so I recommend just kind of starting with that one. Uh second one up, let's see the Bottom right, actually, I think I'm gonna go with. It's the bug guy, his weakness is ice, so. Electricity for that guy, ice for this guy. And as I mentioned in the last episode, since I'm pretty sure rank doesn't matter, um, I did intentionally drop the rank down to B. was meant to be a dash jump. So again, just kind of stay in the corners, bait the attacks uh, with a few exceptions. This next guy I definitely recommend. Uh, these last two, they're both of them, their weakness is fire. Um, just go for the charge saber. And for this guy, it seems like staying close is better. Crap. He's a little less predictable, though. And this is just the Anubis one. Like, by far the easiest of the four. It does seem like holding the charge uh, creates a little extra slowdown, which makes some of these jumps harder to actually pull off. There we go. 
don't. Yeah, he's a little easier to no hit. Technically, I could have gone and farmed for one ups, but. I didn't really want to do that. This is actually easier with electricity here. It's kind of nasty. They put that guy just off screen, but... It is a nice shortcut. For this part, I recommend... Who was it? Starting with Harpoonia. Um, it doesn't really matter at this point, because like at this point you're going to have to either... If you die, you have to retry, or if you want to restart the stage, you have to fight the previous four. But yeah, his weakness is ice. Um, and there is... A strat I kind of figured out. Ah, oh, crap. That's not... That's not it, obviously. Anyway. Just try to stay away from him. Ah, oh, crap. If he just wait for him to see if he does the dive or if he starts throwing his shit. If he goes for the dive, dash under it, punish. It's like the easier way to do it. Uh, and for which one is this? This is the fire guy. He's weak to electricity, right? Uh, for this guy, it seems like baiting the grab is the better way to do it. Just like try to stay close to him and then dash away. Ah, fuck. Unless you fuck it up, like I just did. Son of a bitch, I started the dash. we can do the rest of this without dying too much. Uh, let's see, bottom left I believe is the water one, bottom right, no bottom left is the shadow one, yeah he's kind of an ass as well but yeah try to stay in the corners, it makes it a little bit easier to bait his attacks. He usually starts with the dash slash, yeah. Just do the single jump. Stay in the corner. Single jump, stay in the corner. Yep, that's the most punishable one. And he does not have an elemental weakness, so... Ok, 
go. Then he self-destructs at the end, so just stay away. Again, stay in the corner. <laughs> The final one is the water one, which is pretty easy, and just bring fire. The only thing is her opening attack, I'm not really sure exactly how to dodge all of that. Whoa, that was almost really bad. Yeah, just play it safe, let her come to you. Okay, so that's the end of the boss rush portion. Again, charge slashes for these guys. Unless you fuck it up like I just did. like starting I don't think he has a w elemental weakness I mean maybe I think they change but it doesn't seem consistent so I think going in with just hitting with the charge saber works really well and thankfully from this point if you die you can just retry right here but, yeah, this part is kind of bullshit. Okay, that's not stunning him. Whoa. Don't remember that move. Yeah, the other time when it went better, I just went in with electricity and kept it at electricity. His weakness does change, though, depending on what element he's using. So if you see him switch to, I think it's electricity, maybe switch to... I think it's fire? Maybe it's ice. anymore. It's ice, obviously. Damn it. Electricity seems to work for two of his three forms, I think. Maybe it's four. Because I think he has his default form.
Okay, so that went pretty well. I've gotten him no hit a couple times, but it's really fucking hard to do because how much he moves around. How much he can attack from off screen. This part just sucks ass. And there's no elemental weakness here. Fucking... okay. Sometimes you just... because you have to... You have to go to the side parts to, like, even damage him. I'm sure I could... Right, because I didn't upgrade it. I could probably just poke him from below. That might be a better option, at least in the beginning part, but I don't think it's going to deal that much damage. That's the thing. So it might be better to shoot him from the, like, side parts. We could just skip this and retries, but ah, son of a bitch. Some of you may be like, well, hey, why don't you use save states? And no, I'm not going to use save states. It's not doing it legitimately. For the sake of trying it, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, that's a tiny amount of damage. Charge slashes really do the best damage. Um,
the same plan as before. That hit me. What the hell? Like sometimes it lets me like jump over him. Sometimes it doesn't. And I'm not sure what the fucking indicator is. It's really annoying. don't know what his deal is, like, there doesn't seem to be a reliable way to bait his stuff, like, from what I can tell. unlike Anubis guy who is by far the easiest. Uh, electricity? Alright. Yeah. Last time. Uh, say Harpunia first? Yeah. Although it doesn't matter because at this point I die, I'm just gonna, you know, retry. I fight Harpunia, the more I kind of get his whole shit. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's... yeah. <laughs> um... Actually, come to think of it, instead of using the saber, I think using the buster might be better for this guy. Is it electricity? Yeah, electricity, yeah. Although the saber is more damage, and it does seem like baiting the grab is the way to go. Whoa, why did that not... Yeah, because that's... really sucks because like you're supposed to dash under some of those attacks and then jump over the other ones it's just I really hate that one the rest of them I know exactly how to deal with them this guy not so much seem like baiting the grab is the way to go. And yeah, Shadow Guy, I'm not a fan. I just call him Shadow Guy because I don't... I don't know if he ever introduced himself. Definitely just stay in the corner. It's a lot safer. I was like... Also, if you were intentionally self-destructing, that was not a very good attack, to be real. Oh, it's not ice, it's fire. Fucking... The least likely of, to be the weakness of a water enemy. Like, oh, did you try using fire underwater? <laughs> wow. Oh, just dash under it? Ah, damn it. If I would have died to her, I would have been embarrassed. And kind of annoyed, honestly. Starting with electricity just seems to be the best way. At least 
least I can go in here with the charge attack, but... This is it. This is the one. I've tried the buster on him, he just like ignores the buster attack sometimes. Fuck. I think he blocks it. Skip this on reload. That he just has iframes during that fucking asshole. Great, now just anything will kill me. Unless I magically get a no hit run on this face, which. Oh, let me tell you, that's not gonna happen. I'm still using electricity, that's a bad idea. Fuck. Okay. It seems like he starts with the right one. You know, if if I do get a no hit on first phase, I I probably will use a save state. Like this is just this isn't even my first like recording of this episode. <laughs> I've already been at this for like an hour and a half on top of. The 35 minutes that we've been doing this, so like two hours. So yeah, I am 100% sick of this shit right now. That was some horse shit, dude. That was a lot better. Okay, for the sake of science. I kinda just want more chances to fight this guy. Fuck, why do I still have electricity on? It's such a stupid idea. Yeah, that is not a lot of damage. And the platform's too far away, okay. I 
shouldn't have done that. Okay, that's not bad. That was a bad idea. Alright, you gotta go faster. Oh, he does start on the left sometimes. Okay, so if you're on one side, switch to the other side? How are you supposed to avoid that? Go to the other one? Ah, fuck. Damn it. What the hell, dude? Okay, that is the ticket. Okay, switch off of electricity first. And go in for the charge slash. Oh. Okay, it's not bad. Oh. How did that? He has. So if he's doing that move. With the lasers. Just go for the other side. Did he completely avoid that? starts with whatever side you're on, I guess. Did 
that not count? Because he kind of shields himself. can still hit him. You know what? I think that should have killed me, but I got him in the same hit. <laughs> he hit me after I killed him. So... I do have to get going, so I think I'm just going to count that as a victory? <laughs> cheese the boss? Yes. They use save states, which is kind of cheating. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Should this series have ended a couple episodes ago? Yeah, it should have. Um, and that's kind of a big reason here. That's the thing, too. Like, they introduce some music right at the end. It's like you hear the same track over and over and over and over in this game. And then right at the end, they're like, here you go. Here's like two new tracks you've never heard before. Can we actually skip the credits or no? I thought there was a way to skip. No? Set a button combination. So hold A and up. I thought I remember reading that it was like one of those, like hold R and A or something. A and L, up, down, left, right, A, B, start. <laughs> No. Uh, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, A, B, hold B, start, no. R, right, down, L, up, left, hold A, press B, start, select, no. Let's try a few cheat codes from other games, but anyway, it's, it's fine. Um, I mean, I really want to find out if... You know what I'll actually do? This, this takes a minute. I just need to turn off the thing. I'll be... I'm just going to let this play. Alright. What'd I miss? 
Oh, well, thank you for playing. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you for such a great game, Capcom and Inti Creates. With some questionable design choices. I don't give a shit. Play hard mode and saving and hold L new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Saving and uh I think I double saved on these two, so middle, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just had to turn off the um So if we hit continue and no F. My F. Wasn't that bad. Oh, because you start on F at the beginning of the game? So that should... Yeah, we can skip. Alright, moment of truth. Oh, we can't get that right now? Oh, we can't get it because we have all of them, right? Mm hmm. Aw, oh, dude, we have them. Hold jump button for supremacy. <laughs> I don't remember what it does exactly, but we have it. A very unique cyber elf. Okay, so we have Jackson. Sick. So it's it's true. The rumors are true. You don't have, like, rank does not matter. Because I beat the game of B, which, oh, whoops. Sorry, Shale. Um, which should have been, oh my goodness, dude, just. Did the crystals carry over? I don't think they did. Oh, that was one of the cyber elves, right? We don't need to get cyber elves now. Because I have all of them. probably gonna do because you guys may be wondering okay that's the end of the series isn't it we could end it there hundred percent Jackson. However, it's probably going to dock me like two points or four points, probably. Because Shield did get hit like. Well, she got hit in the sticky trap stuff. I don't know if that's going to matter. Oh, we got an A, so. Yeah, so the room behind her is probably going to be locked. Not that it matters, because we already have all the Cyber Elves. So, and nothing is, yeah, it's all at the default level. Okay, that's fine. Um. So now, 
what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to run in between episodes. I'm probably just going to run through the game real quick. Unless, I mean, we could probably do that super easy. If I just do them in episodes, it would probably only take like two episodes to blast through the game. Because here's the deal. I We need 4,500 credits. Not credits. Crystals. I keep saying that. Um, and I don't think we can do the story. Yeah, we can't get his story in. And that's just for a cyber elf, so that doesn't matter. Uh, and servo as well, and that doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do in probably in between episodes um, is if we go back to the laboratory, this is like the grinding spot, basically. It's like the fastest way to grind in this game, which has to be done, and I've mentioned this before, but it has to be done before retrieve data. Honestly, it's kind of a better idea to do this early anyway, just because, like, I don't think it automatically starts us in hard mode, pretty sure. Um, then this way we can, yeah, there we go. We are leveling up our weapons, so it's definitely not hard mode. Um... So I'm going to do a lot of this, essentially. Um, just until we have like 4,500 crystals, which honestly, it doesn't take that long. It'll probably take like an hour. Um, I'm also going to want to upgrade the buster, so probably just do this. I could probably just shoot just above the thing. Oh, but then I won't be able to actually grab the ship. Yeah, that's a problem. But it should upgrade the buster pretty quick, honestly. Just until we get... I'm actually kind of surprised it hasn't upgraded the buster yet. I guess like the easier ones down here because they're all on the same level. There we go.
So I'm pretty sure we need to actually defeat enemies with like the second slash. So these guys are pretty good for that actually because they take a little bit more damage than the other guys. There we go. So like the third attack isn't actually doing anything now because they die in two hits. So. But yeah, essentially whatever it is, the last thing that you got is going to help increase the level. There we go. So we want to take him out with the third, which the last two should be. No. So we're already at 823, that's not that bad. So I'm pretty sure after the triple slash is the jumping spin slash thing. And after that, not that it really matters to get the final upgrade for the final move unlocked the Z Saber, I just want like the charge slash, honestly. Which only takes about like 10 minutes typically to get the Z Saber like fully upgraded. And for like for all practical purposes, I really only use the Z Saber in the Buster anyway. Like there's a few situations like you have to use the triple rod and like the shield boomerang, like pretty much I've never used it. Not for, mm, yeah, not really, not really ever. So but yeah, if you time it like after the second jump, there we go. Yeah, you'll pretty much always get the last two spider bots with the third slash, so. Just gonna go to the other one. There we go. the charge shot. And of course the final buster upgrade, upgrade which is um, you can just do the charge shot faster. So yeah, I mean you have to get the proficiency things back manually, but once you do... The rest of the game is going to be actually super fucking easy, to be, <laughs> to be entirely candid. Basically I want to just make sure I get the jumping spin thing and the faster like charge attacks. So I'm just going to do that here it's a great way to grind out the energy crystals that we need. Um, that's pretty much it. I guess they're dropping a lot of health I don't need. Damn it. Freaking 
I'm used to the timing of like the faster charge, the slower one is kind of fucking me up a little bit. Essentially, these are the two grinding spots, which I think I already talked about before in a previous episode when I was talking about the grinding. There we go. It should be faster, right? Yeah, there we go. So we still don't have the jump attack thing. But I think in order to get the spinning jump, I think you actually have to use it a lot more. Which actually, we could get that in the next mission a lot easier. I could get it here, but which I think, yeah, in order to get more proficiency for that, I think you have to use jump attacks. So... that now. seems like the place to do it. At least I think that's what it is. There we go. Should be the second to last one. It is. Okay. And for the buster, I think it's just the faster charge shot, I'm pretty sure. Which I'm pretty sure you actually have to use the charge shot on things. Again, area with like level shit would be a little bit easier for that. Damn it. Not that this one particularly matters to me, because again, for most of the game I use the Z Saber, not the Buster. Actually, I'm not even sure if you have to use the charge shot. I 
think you do? I'm just not positive. I'm surprised it hasn't actually upgraded yet. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's any faster. Again, I'm not sure if that's getting any experience for the other uh, upgrade. Faster charge shot. See, we're already at like 2,000. It's really not that bad. Whoops. gone kind of long in this episode, so I'm just going to end it there, I think. Um, should be a safe... Uh, I see that guy. Okay. Should be safe here. Okay. So yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, like I said before, I am going to grind to 4,500 crystals in between episodes. Um, that way we can actually raise Jackson to the fullest and use him. Because again, to get ultimate mode, you just have to get Jackson first, which <laughs> you just have to get Jackson. You have to get every cyber elf, which is a huge pain in the ass. Um, and they do carry over on New Game Plus, so if you, like as I showed earlier, if you just hit continue on the save, on the clear data, it'll just start you from the beginning with all the Cyber Elves that you already had. So next episode, and this is pretty exciting, we're going to use every Cyber Elf, which 
probably not in one episode, honestly, because... Actually, maybe. I know some of them... Some of them have different, like, uses and stuff, so, like, we could waste all of them in one go. Um... But essentially, we want to use all of them. Um, so we'll definitely use Jackson, we'll use all the sub-tank ones, the increased health ones, uh, the ability ones, so running fast, defense, climbing, never fall, I don't know if that's a never, help you defy gravity, I don't know what that's about either. Erase the small enemies, yeah, it's mainly these ones. Uh, I know Totten just gets rid of all the instant death spikes. It's gonna be so much easier, like, to actually get to ultimate mode. Yeah, using every cyber elf in the game is really easy mode, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we'll probably just do that, and then I'll just show how easy it is to basically breeze through the game. <laughs> Because like the only reason that run was hard is because you couldn't use any of the cyber elves. Because again, on my first run when I was just playing casually, I had sub tanks. I increased my vitality a bit. I think I increased my defense as well. So like, it, it was a very different situation, you know. Um, so it does kind of just allow you to brute force certain things, as long as you don't die instantly. But. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a far cry from the last one, so um, it'll probably only take like two or three episodes to blast through the entire game. Um, so yeah, we'll do that and then I'll just show you guys what ultimate mode is and uh, we'll end it there. So anyway, thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciate it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, the amazing people who make it possible. Vels Draconis, Aaron Shake, WTF Corey, and Rogue XOX. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. Vastly helps out and very much appreciate it. And uh, in case you guys are unfamiliar with YouTube handles, uh, that's why WTF Corey and Rogue XOX have an at in front of their screen name. So they have channels of their own. Definitely go check them out. They're fantastic stuff. And, um,. It's basically, you can just make the URLs easier. So you can just go to youtube.com slash at uh, WTF Corey or at Rogue XOX. Uh, same goes for this channel as well. You can, the, the old URLs were very long, but you can always just go to youtube.com slash at the Farts and Crap Show. That's an easier way to navigate things. Also easier to like, shout things out and stuff like that without actually having to uh, put links, you know. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you want to be like these amazing people, though, and get in on all those membership benefits, check out that join button down below. There's also a link in the description that talks about becoming a channel member in case you happen to be on a platform that doesn't show a join button. Uh, tier start $3 a month. Only 10 cents a day gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full 7 days, so 25% of the time we do have one going. And uh, we did already have the one for August a little while ago. I think this episode is coming out in August. Um, but we will have one for September at some point, which... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that one's going to be because we already have the series picked out for what's going to be following this series. And, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll see we'll see how that goes. It, it depends on... The next Retro Classic series is going to be a little longer. So, um... Because, yeah, the winner was Xenogears, and from what I've heard, Xenogears is a longer game. I haven't ever played through the whole thing. I've only ever played like the first hour and anyway, I've been over this before. But um, anyway, and uh, I will try to avoid using walkthroughs because yeah, I, I don't I don't like using walkthroughs. Um, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Um. 
Oh, and if you are a new channel member, any of the previous members' choice polls that you may have missed, uh, you can still vote on those uh, over on the membership tab. Uh, they stay open essentially until you vote on them, and any retroactive input on those is considered for future polls. Uh, so that is very much appreciated, and um, this is a, an approximation of future announcements from the past. So if you guys want all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you, I totally get it. The bell doesn't work for me either. There's three other ways you can stay up to date. The community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one of those works for you, uh, you can stay up to date. And links for those are down in the description, also on the channel banner, but that is going to do it for today. So thank you all once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.